sandali. Tapos na ba? 10:20 or 10:40? <laughs> Store guys, that's what I told you. It's very amazing. Islands.
the bus 1020 so I have still uh, nine minutes my sister and Juma I don't know where they are but they are behind me Now it's uh, the rain is stopped. Oh, the north of the wall, you know the wall in Game of Thrones? All the north of the wall was filled, most of it was filled in Iceland, but not here. In uh, On the glacier, in Apeldeo country, in the east of the country, with all the ice and the snow. And it's, and it's also where they filmed um, Interstellar, you know the movie Interstellar with the ice planet. And also Batman Begins. Yeah, Batman Begins, the same director actually, Christopher Nolan. He loved Iceland so much that he came twice to film it. And uh, yeah, the name of this river, Oxenrafos, is because in the old time we had a troll here. You know troll from the Nordic mythology? Like they have in Norway, the trolls. So a very big uh, troll was here. And uh, the people were a bit uh, scared of this troll uh, 
being around. So one day they sent one man uh, hunting the troll. Um, and uh, this man went with his axe. He has a, an axe. And uh, he found the troll and he threw the, the axe to her back. It was a female uh, troll. And then she was bleeding and she disappeared in the mountains we have here in front of us, these mountains. She disappeared, she went there and they never saw this troll again. So they believe that she died there in the mountain or she just decided to leave this place. But then a few days later they found the, the axe uh, in the river and with a bit of blood also. And that's why they called this uh, river Axe River. Oh. Axe River. And uh, also they believed, I found those believe that we find once a year uh, wine in the river. It, it, once a year there is some wine instead of water. So maybe, I don't know which day it is, I would love to, to go and uh, check <laughs> if it's uh, some French wine or not. <laughs> but uh, but no, it's, uh, it's probably not true because it's just a legend, unfortunately. <laughs> but it's from this uh, story because they saw some red in the river, so they decided that once a year the gods will give some wine. You know, the pagan gods from the, from the Nordic mythology. So this is a beautiful river. The river comes from a glacier. So we have many glaciers in Iceland, the 10% of the country is covered by ice and the glacier rivers. And the lake, it is very clear water we have in the lake, uh, comes from the glaciers also, and most of the water. And this water has been filtered in the volcanic rocks for more than 30 years. And that's why it is so clear. It's possible to do some uh, snorkeling and diving in uh, the lake and uh, the people who do that in, in the water, they can see 150, de uh, 150 meters around. 360 degrees of course, but 150 meters uh, very clear because of the clear water. Some uh, do uh, some snorkeling or diving in a crack, in a fissure named Sintra. So they are diving between two continents, two tectonic plates. It's very close to the car park number two, where, where we just uh, left, from where we left. So if you want to do something like that, so if, you, if you like diving and snorkeling, I recommend to go to Silpa. Some companies are after the tools. The water is very cold, of course, even in summer. So the people who do that, they have a dry suit. And then they can survive in this cold water. The yeah, water is very cold, even this lake, so the lakes are so cold in Iceland, we don't, really, we don't swim in the lakes like they do in other, uh, all these other European countries, they have a real summer with the warm temperatures, they have 40 degrees right now in most of the European countries, that is too much, we never have 40 degrees in Iceland, it's impossible, the warmest we get is usually 24 degrees Celsius, only for a few hours, usually during June or, or July. I heard about 25, I never saw it. I think it's a legend. So this is a Celsius, uh, centigrade 25, 24 for the very good days. Most of the days are like today. Today actually is a warm day. So we don't have summers in Iceland like in other countries. You know, in Sweden, in Norway, or in Finland, we Lapland, I'm talking about Lapland, the north of these countries. If you go there, you can swim in the lakes. It's okay in summer. It's even more north than Iceland. They are closer to the Arctic Circle. Uh, they are over the Arctic Circle. But here, no, we don't swim. We just need to find some geothermal hot water. And where we go now, there is some hot water. That's why I want to stop there, make a quick stop. We are not going to swim there, but just to show you, show you that there is some hot water somewhere. So don't prepare your swimsuit for now, no, it's not for now. Wait for the Blue Lagoon for that. And now we are driving in a no man's land between Europe and America. So we left America. Goodbye America, see you tonight again. Now we go to Europe, so I told you that we are between the two tectonic plates, so there's, there is now six kilometers, so it's almost four miles between the plates because they are moving. They always move the gap between the plates is bigger and bigger every year, uh, bigger by two centimeters a year, that's a lot. Those plates are moving uh, quite fast, so two centimeters more every year. Of course, sometimes there is almost nothing, sometimes there is a small earthquake and then uh, we can have one meter or ten centimeters in uh, one day. So, I will tell you in a few, uh, in two minutes we will be in Europe. In uh, one minute, so it's, it's, uh, this uh, tectonic plate is one of the biggest with uh, the whole European continent. So we find uh, Ireland, Sweden, Norway, England just to talk about the best countries in Europe now because you are from these countries, some of you but all the other European countries of course and also, uh, as I said before, all the way to China 
uh, to Siberia. And here it is, just in front of us, Eurasian tectonic plate. This one, all the rocks you see in front is the beginning of, uh, of Europe, the European part of Iceland. So maybe for some of you, it's uh, the first time on this Euro Eurasian plate, for the ones who come from North America. I don't know if you went before. Do you see the right side also? So here we are. And if you look to the right behind the lake, this is uh, the North American plate there in the distance now, six kilometers from here. And we were just driving in the, in the national park with a lot of bird trees. Uh, when the settlers came to Iceland, they found a lot of these trees. One third of the country was covered by bird trees like this. But they used so much wood that now we have only 3% of Iceland that is uh, forests like this. And uh, in this lake, I didn't tell you, but there is a lot of fish. We have fish everywhere in Iceland, in the lakes, in the rivers. In this one, we can find uh, the brown trout, rainbow trout, Arctic trout. So the people who like uh, fishing, they love uh, to do it in Iceland because it's a wonderful country for that. So it's not the best country for skiing, but for fishing it is, yes. A bit like in Scotland, maybe, or in many other countries, Norway or Ireland. A lot of fish. And we have the salmon, of course, like the three other countries I just mentioned. The salmon, uh, Arctic trout, trout, and many other kind of fish, especially in the Atlantic uh, Ocean. So for lunch, maybe you want to try some fish, fish soup or something. It's always good. Fish is delicious in Iceland. So let's... Uh, leave this national park and uh, we will uh, stop in uh, 20 minutes just make a quick stop to see some hot water there